What's up guys, Filterless here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add more color to your games. However, we're not using game visual. This doesn't give you as much control. It's just a few presets. Instead, I will show you how to get to the actual control panel and that will give you more options. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on this arrow right here. You should have this red AMD Adrenaline software icon. And double click on that. If you do not have that for whatever reason, you can come over here to start and type in AMD. And you should see AMD software and you can click on it that way to open it. And depending on where you're at, it might start on the system screen, but it doesn't really matter. What you're looking for is display. So click on that. And over here under custom color, you can turn this on and you can just everything you'd like. So what I usually do is turn saturation up, which will give you more color. The camera actually doesn't pick it up as well, but if we go to 200, which is crazy, you see how much color there is in this now. It's ridiculous. So that's a bit overkill, but you can adjust that to how you would like. One thing to note, when you are adjusting the setting, make sure you don't have a game open. What happens is if you adjust this while a game's open, it's saving this profile for that game. And next time you go to desktop or you open another game, it will go back to the default 100. And one last thing when you're on battery, if you have this very bright option checked, it can look like the colors are slightly washed out like right now. So simply toggling this off, you'll see the colors will come back. And that right there looks a lot better to me. So I recommend turning it off, but if it's not bothering you, you could leave it on. It supposedly saves battery life. I haven't noticed much of a difference. So I hope this video helped out and provided some value. If it did, make sure to leave a like, sub, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.